a long road to the Champions League final, there's little doubt. But for Bayern Munich, it was a road with few bumps as they completed a stellar season. Reaching the final seemed a matter of course as they dominated the Bundesliga, but as they reached the knockout stages, they were treading with caution. Coming here, Arsenal must score three goals if they are to make it to the next round. So we're in a good position. But you never know what will happen in football. Just one incident can change a game, so we must play well and be focused. Arsenal's challenge was feeble and they swept past Juventus and Barcelona in the quarters and semis on their way to Wembley. But Borussia Dortmund stood between them and redemption for their 2012 loss. Iron Robin arguably shouldered much of the blame 12 months earlier, after he missed a penalty, which could have secured the cup for the Germans in the dying seconds. But salvation was certainly his, as he netted the winner against Dortmund, just before time and took man of the match honours as well. I always feel uh, responsibility when I'm playing football, you know, and, um, but what, what you say, I think it's, it's, a, it's a team sport, it's a team performance, I think why we reached the final, I think um, the, biggest, uh, the biggest reason is that we we are a, a real team. Besonders in den ersten 20 Minuten gemerkt, wo wo wir nicht zu unserem Spiel gefunden haben. To begin with, we didn't quite find our feet, and I have to pay a compliment to Dortmund. In the first stage of the game, they were excellent, and it was a difficult match for us. After the break, I think we played considerably better, and we took command of the game. Wir nicht zu unserem Spiel gefunden haben und ja, es für uns ein ein schwieriges Spiel war. We played more forward, made more opportunities. Both teams play good football, but I think it is because of the second half we deserve to win. Yeah, I was so happy after this really hard game. I think Dortmund also did well, but we keep going to pushing to the last minute. So I'm just happy for the team and everyone, for Munich, for the fans. We did uh, everything what we has we ha we had to. Uh, the game today was really difficult at the beginning for us, but uh, at the end I think we, we won it. At the halftime, the, the coach talked to us and said that we have to get the nervous out and try to play our football. That's what we did in the second half and we won it. That is the important thing at the end. Like everyone else who's won the Champions League, Chelsea wanted to be the first to win the title back-to-back. -back. But by Christmas, they'd been relegated to the Europa League. Roberto Di Matteo was looking for a new job and the Blues were searching for answers. In walked Rafa Benitez, who turned the club around and guided them all the way to Amsterdam for a chance at another cup. Any season when you reach the European final and uh, you win it, you have to be considered as a successful one. Obviously this is a big game or massive game tomorrow for the whole football club. We would like to make the history by winning the game tomorrow and I think you know, by making a history you always remember the season as a successful one. Standing in their way was Ben Fika, who had their own emotions heading to the Dutch capital, as they were searching for their first European success in half a century. Primeiro a gente, a gente tem uma confiança muito forte no trabalho que a gente faz. We are confident. We have worked hard to be here, and we trust what we do. We will enjoy the game and look forward to playing against Chelsea. Não tem que voltar, né, a um jogo que já foi. There's no reason for us to fear the result. O que a gente faz no dia a dia. It wasn't to be, though, in a hard-fought final that many thought was headed towards penalties. Branislav Ivanovic slotted a crafty header in extra time to give Chelsea a 2-1 win and cement their name in the history books as the first club to hold both European Cups at the same time, even if it was for only a week. We had it last year, it was the ultimate of the Champions League. And, uh, because the minute you get into the Europa League, people talk about you being disappointed, but when you get to a night like this, it makes it all worthwhile. I think at this moment in time, obviously, holding the two European Cups is, uh, is sort of history in itself, so uh, we're proud of that and tonight was, uh, was a great victory. It was a magnificent game, it was so difficult for us. Uh, in the first half, the guys controlled all the game. In the second half, in the half time, Rafa spoke with them, with, with us, and the, to change some, posi some position and the, the intensity of the game. So in the second half, it was better, so that's why we won the, the, the title. In the final was really difficult against a, a very good team. I think that we played the two best teams in, in Europa League, so uh, I think that was a difficult game. Maybe 2014 will finally be Benfica's year of glory when the Champions League final heads to Lisbon. That's all for now.